गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ चैप्टर नाइन एक्सरसाइज एक्सप्लेनेशन इज परफॉर्म इन दिस वीडियो तो सब फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज हैबिटेड एज यू हैड स्टडीड द सराउंडिंग वेयर एन ऑर्गेनिज्म लीव इज नोन एज इट्स हैबिटेड जहाँ भी वो रहता है आस पास की सारी एरिया हर चीज को बायोटिक एंड अबायोटिक ऑल द फैक्टर्स क्रिएट हैबिटेट ऑफ दैट ऑर्गेनिज्म नॉ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ कैक्टस एडेप्टेड टू सर्वाइव इन डेजर्ट सो स्टूडेंट आई शुड लेट यू नो दैट कैक्टस हैव सम फीचर्स इन इट्स बॉडी विच एनेबल्स इट टू सर्वाइव इन द desert and those features we had already done see <coughs> we had done the leaf of the cactus we go are very thick and these are wax see see desert plant lose very little water through transpiration <coughs> and the leaves of desert plant are either absent or very small or they are in the form of spines so that they can lose very little amount of water this will help reducing the loss of water less the leaves through transpiration the leaf like structure we see in the cactus actually in fact its stem this one this is actually stem of the cactus this also help to reduce less water photosynthesis is carried by that structure also that means <coughs> it is contained by stem stem is also covered with a thick waxy layer which help to retain that means ki pani ko bacha kar ke rakhne mein help karta hai is it and most the desert plant have roots that go very deep into the soil for absorbing what got it so these are the characteristic which help the cactus to live in desert this you can write point wise to write the answer of this question actually i had given all the answers but most of you had told me that they just can't understand the answer that's why i'm explaining the exercise now you can answer how cactus is adapted to survive in desert now let us try to do the fill in the blanks the presence of specific features which enable plant or animal to live in a particular habitat is known as adaptation they just adapt themselves to live there the habitat of the of the plant and animal that live on land is called terrestrial habitat terrestrial habitat got it the habitat of plant and animal that live in water are known as aquatic habitat soil water and air are these are non living that's why these are a biotic component of the habitat changes in surrounding that make us to respond to them are known as stimuli we just respond regarding which type of the same changes these are known as actually stimuli which of the things of the following are non living it is non living mushroom is living swimming scene is non living radio is non living boat is non living water this is living this is an plant or organism you can say earthworm is living give an example of non living thing which shows any two characteristic of living thing first one is cloud second is car toy or you can say toy car yes why because toy car also moves like living organism and clouds also move like living organism and it changes its shape yes which of the non living thing listed below were once part of living thing butter once part of living thing in the body of cow leather was once part of living thing in the body of animal soil it's it was also part of living thing because soil is prepared with the help of humus humus is the parts of dead and decaying animals and plants wool was also part of 
living thing it was the part of the body of sheep or it was the part of the body of the you can say god yes electric bulb was not any time part of the any living thing cooking oil was the part of living thing because cooking oil is prepared with the help of seeds and seeds are actually living things and salt salt was not part of any living thing apple was part of living thing is it now see rubber rubber was also part of living thing because rubber is prepared with the jelly coming out from trees and these are part of trees that means it was part of a living thing once list the common characteristic of living thing they just reproduce they just so grow they just do respiration they just move they respond to stimuli this so movement we had already done so these are the common characteristic of <coughs> living organisms now one of the most important question why speed is important for the survival in the grassland animals that live there so we know that in the grassland there are very few bigger trees to protect or hide themselves so the animals living in grassland needs to be have very much speed in their body so that they can protect themselves from predator and the prey can protect themselves from the predator and predator can catch the prey that's why they need to have speed in their body see you can read this para then you will find the answer of the speed of their help them to run away from the predator got it so that's why they need very much speedy body that means they should run very fast so we have completed the exercise we have already done but many of you had told me to explain this exercise now we had got the explanation of this exercise now you just learn this chapter carefully that's all for the time